Hi, I'm Lisa, the Children's Health Promotion Advisor with the 0 to 19 Plus team, and this is my colleague. Yeah, hi, I'm Heather. I'm from the Early Start team at the Children's Centres. So today, Heather, we're going to talk about sleep. So, is this something that you get lots of questions on? Absolutely, sleep is a, a killer for everybody. We have faces like this. Faces like this coming in quite frequently. No matter how many people say to you, you know, it, you get your sleep now, you don't. Nothing can prepare you, you can't. can't. You can't. <laughs> Not until you're in it, but it is normal. Um, and it's also normal that babies maybe sleep through for a bit, then they start waking again. Um, and also that toddlers don't always sleep through the night as well. Um, what I would say though is there are a few things that you can do that might help um, mm. with that. So it's like, yeah trying to sort of establish like a good bedtime routine and you can do this from the early days so your baby or child doesn't know what time it is they're not going to know whether it's six o'clock or whether it's ten o'clock mm. but what they will recognize is those triggers for bedtime so what we'd recommend is things like you know either giving them a nice relaxing bath doesn't work for all children sometimes it can get them more excited so if you find that doesn't work for you you can just give them a wash down you know a, a top to tail um, um you know sort of wash down get them changed into their bedtime clothes whether that feeling of being warm yeah it? definitely the warm water the warm cuddly yeah. clothes the yeah. just yeah you can do a bit of baby massage as mm. well you know that can help relax them um obviously if your baby's in that place where they you know they're, they're happy for you to do that getting them changed into the, the nighttime clothes so baby grow pajamas if it's an older child some children have a drink so they might have a feed or a milk mm -hmm. um, and it's a really good time to sort of cuddle up with a book um, so sit down you know on the bed in the bed get a nice book a um, nice calm relaxing environment you can put some classical music on if you want to um, so that can really help as well and obviously all that the reading getting into that routine that helps stimulate all the language development mm -hmm. as well so it's sort of helping you know two two things really and then it's just a matter of having you know, the lights down low another thing we would recommend with like older children is avoiding things like television screen tablets time. screen time a couple of hours before they go to bed so you start that wind down time the calming you know sort of earlier on yeah. in the evening you know after they've maybe had their evening meal um but like i say children won't know what time it is so even if you've had maybe a a later night and you know still do that routine you know you can pare it down a bit um, but children will, let, will recognize those triggers and then go to sleep consistency is the key isn't it definitely it yeah. is it is and any I mean do you have any any people having any specific issues with sleep when they come in sort of saying what sort of problems they're having um, I think it's it's more along the lines, especially with the toddlers, of them just not staying in their bed, yeah. or you know, just the constant waking up and them not knowing what it is that they're waking yeah. up for. Yeah. Um, but I think it, I think again, it's just being having that good bedtime routine can help. If they do wake up, it's just about going. And a lot of children need that trigger. So if it, if they've been rocked, if they've been fed. Mm. Um, they go through periods where they go in a deep sleep and then a light sleep and when they're in that light sleep they want what got them to sleep so it's about if you can find ways of settling them in a way where you're maybe you know you're stroking their head you're patting the back you're giving them that reassurance that they're that you're there but you're not sort of having to rock them or feed mm. them to sleep you know when you know obviously when they're when they're older when they're a baby they need that but you know when they get a bit older yeah we don't advocate the, the leaving them to cry or anything like that because that's very distressing for parents and for the children. Um, so it's just about, and then you can do the gradual, you know, where you, you sit with them by the bed and then you sit a bit further, then you sit so by the door so that, that you can still give that reassurance that you're there, but your little one's getting used to sort of getting themselves off to sleep. Yeah, and you can give that kind of warmth and that affection without actually talking because talking yes. is definitely yeah yeah well. definitely it's just about keeping the lights down low keeping them mm. in their own bed if you can exactly like you say because and at a certain age i don't know if you've you know had this yourself where they get very clever at sort of asking can i have a drink can i have a teddy they, they use a lot of distraction techniques don't they to try and yeah get you to so the normal question of what did you do at preschool nothing 
and at bedtime it's well mummy I did this and then it's a curtain and yeah it's night time now yes they do they do and they'll want to tell you everything which is lovely but sometimes it, it's a way of like stalling that bedtime as well so it's just about you know letting them have that time to chat earlier on um, and then sort of you know hmm. keeping it nice and calm and quiet and like you say very limited sort of conversation let them know you're there but try not to engage in that yeah and perhaps i suppose the environment as well looking at yes. the bed room yeah. whether it's dark enough and the sheets are i know a lot of children like weighted things don't they to help them sleep yeah um whereas others don't it's it's kind of trial and error yeah it, it is really? yeah finding so, something that's comfortable for them um to sort of you know that, that's getting like you say the temperature mm. can make a big difference you know when it's too hot in the summer the lights and uh, 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 you know lighter mm -hmm. it does it does affect their sleep and that's all very normal and you find hopefully that when it gets darker and the nights draw in it sometimes is easier to get them into that routine because it's dark outside yeah yeah